Hello everyone, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Spongebob Squarepants. That's all for Bikini Bottom. From when we last left off, we've completed Sand Mountain, and now we're going to the Industrial Park, where we encounter another boss in the game. I suppose you guess who that is, that I've already mentioned. Yep, it's that guy. The Robo Patrick. This day just doesn't seem to be getting any better. You know, I've already mentioned that, but thanks to Robo Sandy. Squidward's in more trouble than a killer. I remember this bit. You're right, Sandy. But if that robot really is like Patrick, he'll eat us for dessert. What should we do? Good Patrick. Well, actually, that's Robo Patrick. Well, we better figure something out. And pronto. Maybe that's Kick me that here. There we are, the industrial park. Look at that, look at Robo Patrick. That's what I like to call him. You know, we've already fought against Robo Sandy and the Poseidon. Look at him doing that. Watch this. I'll show you what happens if you get hit by one of them. Watch this. Look at him beating his chest. He's like King Kong when he does that. <laughs> you. You know when Robo Patrick's beating his chest? He's like King Kong or Gorilla. <laughs> Normally when he does that, a fish head goes like, Don't you do it, and around you go! Him. Ow! He's <laughs> beating his chest. This music in here really suits Robo Patrick very well. I mean, I can't imagine Patrick facing a robotic version of himself. <laughs> Can you imagine that? I mean, at some point in this game, Spongebob will face against a robotic version of himself. I don't want to give too much away, really. I have to wait until he's dizzy enough. If I thought Patrick was not that dumb. <laughs> This is the industrial park, you may remember in pre-hibernation week. They're trying on those conveyor belts. Oh, that would be, che <laughs> that'd be cheating my first bet. <laughs> well, they'll avoid that. Yeah, at some point the fish ever come around and says, Do she do and around you go? <laughs> the poor squidward's frozen the block of ice. If we only, we've only seen that in the like frozen face off. Gross! From a robot. Watch this. I'm trying to rescue Squidward. No! I can't remember what it was like the first time I've seen that. Oh, Sandy! What is Sandy going to do to get SpongeBob on Frozen? Some tactics, really. Oh, yeah, that's what I was been waiting for. See, it's Sandy's turn now. Remember when we were both Sandy boss battle? It was Patrick's turn, the second stage. It's a shame Patrick is not there to see. Now, that's how you do a karate kick. Now he's pumping up acid. Actually, it's acid. You see that? That acid is green. Oh, yeah, green acid. That rings a bell. Oh, yeah, I do remember the bowl of green acid I remember in one episode in the Powerpuff Girls, in the episode Cop Out, with the main villain, and that was Officer Mike Brokowski. Oh, he was the laziest cop of the force. <laughs> Remember when he, all that he was interested in was donuts. <laughs> Remember when Chief Townsville Police was like, <laughs> like You cracked me up. This is no joke, Bukowski. You are the worst, most incompetent officer I've ever known. <laughs> Doing a bit when the girls were inside that warehouse where they saw the weapons that were formerly used by Mojo Jojo. And then there was that clown that they, that they remember from their birthday party or something. <laughs> That's a bit when they were. 
and when blast some bubbles on Buttercup where like a piece of concrete. And then Mike and Kelsey were putting them in the bowl of acid, but the look for the girls, when they went to the bowl of acid, the acid didn't burn them. Well, it injured them slightly. They didn't like incinerate them. It can't be gruesome seeing them melting, you know. Mind you, ice. Speaking of melting, well, ice can. Sometimes snow and ice can melt in warm temperatures. Whoa! Why is Sandy standing in goo or acid? Oops. Now it's SpongeBob's turn now. It's time to roll out some robot punishment. Hey, watch this. Does it. SpongeBob is back watch in this. And SpongeBob gets a frigid reception of the robot. <laughs> gets a frigid reception. <laughs> I love it. The best bit is like, like, oh, SpongeBob spit ice cream. Don't know what he means by that. Now it's filled with acid, and we can't seem to get near him. Look at that. It's whole area is full of acid and we can come. Look at that. That's why I've been waiting for, for that dialogue to come up. SpongeBob's been ice creamed! <laughs> I like that line from, from the fish head. It's like, don't you know where around you go? This is my opportunity here. Oops. Maybe I've done that. Yes! Strike one for him! That's strike one for Robo Patrick! Better not screw this up! Better hurry before he gets back up again! Oh. I see a moment right here. Oh. Strike two! Strike two from Robo Patrick! See, all oh, that, that's his main weapon! And look, ugh, even this. Ugh, even this breath is in... Even this... As in Piccolo's voice, ugh, even this breath is a weapon! <laughs> the final strike knees out. You know, it was like, three strikes knees out. Remember, it's three strikes and you're out, not two. Let's see now. This will be Robo Patrick's last stand. So back again from this way. Yeah! Oh, that's him gone for good. I never thought I'd say this, SpongeBob, but I owe you big time. Thanks, Sandy. We'd still be popsicles if it wasn't for her. Aw, shucks. You fellers are gonna make me blush. I think I have fudge in my pants. Anyway, that's two bosses down. Got one to go. I'm sorry, Plankton. The Chum Bucket Lab is locked up tight. I don't know if I'll ever get enough golden spatulas to get in. Now let's see what Plankton wants. Yes, it's the Chum Bucket security system. I designed it myself. It makes me so proud. It was meant to keep out the hateful throngs of the unwashed. <sighs> Unfortunately, I never figured I'd be on this side of it. <laughs> so what are you going to do, Plankton? We, of course, meaning you, we're gonna have to go out there and get those golden spatulas! Or I'll never get back into the chum bucket and regain control of my robots. What was that? Oh, uh, I said, will I ever get back into the chum bucket to stain all my pots? Yes. Mm, something's fishy here. Keep looking for golden spatulas, 
SpongeBob. I'm sure that my robots out there have some. <laughs> hey, you call them your robots. <laughs> no. Oh, all right. I, uh... And I saw a plaque on the butt of one of the robots that said "Property of Plankton." Well, maybe, but I. Uh... And I found this order form for robot parts with your signature on it. Can I have that back? I need it for my tax write-off. I think you've been pulling my leg this whole time. Well, duh. I'll bet you made all these robots. And after I get inside the chum bucket and figure out how to stop them, I'm going to tell everyone. Oh. Fine, tell everyone. Be a big tattletale. I'm still smarter than all of you. Jeez, what is plankton that on the balcony? Anyway. Let's go ask Mr. Krabs. Mr. Krabs, you don't look so good. You gotta help me, boy. The Krusty Krabs been overrun by a bunch of them hoodlum robots of yours. They've booted me out, and worse, they've got hold of me beautiful shiny objects. What? The filing the Krusty Krab? Is there no end to their evil? What are we going to do, Mr. Krabs? We, meaning you, are going to clear the robots out. Get me back, Beaver's front, and most importantly, rescue me money! And anyway, let's go see what Bubble Buddy's got in store for us. Bubble Buddy, I bet the next move you teach me will be the best one ever. Absolutely. What? That's something I will never get. Super Pinky Shake on it? I would if I had Pinkies. Like me here. Here, I'll blow you some. Yeah, maybe later. Now pay attention, SpongeBob. This bubble's a doozy. Paying my entire salary in attention. Good <laughs> SpongeBob. When you're not moving, press this button and you'll blow a bubble that you can steer as it flies through the air. Wow. That's something new. Carefully, though, you've only got a few seconds of flight time before the bubble pops. I'm a bubble blowing machine. <laughs> Say, Bubble Buddy, why am I having to pay all these golden spatulas to these toll booths? Because, SpongeBob. Well, can't argue with that. Anyway, let's see what we've got with this new tactic. Can't take it. Oh, yeah, you have to press the L1 button. Yeah. Bullseye! And so anyway, I'm uh, cut off here. And so I will see you next time we do the third and final section.